Welcome to our lecture online. The next technique we're going to use to factor a trinomial is the quadratic formula. Now again, you may say the quadratic formula, you don't use that for factoring, you use that for solving quadratic equations, and you're absolutely correct. But it turns out we can actually use the very same technique to factor. So we're going to apply that as well to something we're quite familiar with. Now notice that the general format of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, and notice that x can then be solved by using the quadratic formula that most of us are, should be familiar with. And then we solve for x, and we're going to get x to be equal to two constants, k1 and k2. Then we can rewrite our quadratic equation in a factored form where x minus k1 times x minus k2 equals zero. So if we just imagine for a moment that we don't have equal to zero and we don't have equal to zero there, that means we can take the trinomial and factor it using that very same technique. So let's see what that looks like using a regular example. So again, we're going to solve, in a way, solve that quadratic formula. We're going to imagine this is equal to zero. That means that x, therefore, is going to be equal to minus b, minus a minus two is a positive two, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's minus 2 squared, minus 4 times a times c, which is a minus 15, all divided by 2a. So what I'm doing here is I'm finding the two constants, k1 and k2, and I can then write the factored form. That's essentially what we're doing with the quadratic formula. So x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus times a minus is plus, and that would be plus uh, 60, all divided by 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 64, divided by 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 8, divided by 2, which means we're going to get two possible results. x is equal to, the first result, 2 plus 8 is 10, divided by 2 is 5, or x 2 minus 8 is minus 6, divided by 2 is minus 3. So we found the two values, k1 and k2. And so therefore, we can write that the factored form can be written as x minus 5 times x plus 3. We don't have to write equal to 0 because it wasn't an equation. Simply put in the opposite values, the negative value of 5 and a positive value of negative 3, and that will then give you the factored form of our original problem. You can work it out. Negative 5 times 3 gives you negative 15. Negative 5 plus 3 gives you a minus 2. And so you know that it is done correctly. Quite clever. We can use a quadratic formula to factor a trinomial. And that is how it's done.